Vertebral columns, such as that found in humans, is quite complex. The individual vertebrae are made of bone, they completely surround the nerve cord, and they possess spinous processes, uh, a bony centra uh, beneath uh, the nerve cord, and are quite complex. The most primitive vertebrates did not possess this type of vertebral column. Instead, they possessed a notochord, which they use as their primary support rod. And the most primitive fish alive today, hagfish and lampreys, still utilize the notochord as their primary longitudinal support. It could be argued whether hagfish possess vertebrae at all. While they do possess cartilaginous fin elements, no such cartilaginous supports exist down their backs over the notochord as neural arches, although recent studies suggest that they may have uh, repeating fragments of cartilage under the notochord. If hagfish do not possess any elements which are homologous to vertebrae, then they would be truly invertebrate fish. Lampreys do possess repeating cartilaginous neural arches over the notochord. And being homologous to the neural arches which form in other vertebrates as part of the composite vertebrae, this then qualifies them as true vertebrates. This is how the vertebral column began, as small cartilaginous pieces supporting the notochord, which was the primary support rock. By the evolution of the jawed vertebrates, the uh, vertebral column consisted not only of neural arches over the notochord, but of, uh, also of pleurocentra and intercentra under the notochord, which fused around the notochord, which still was continuous. In modern sharks, one can still observe the notochord passing through the cartilaginous vertebrae, and that the vertebrae then constrict this uh, notochord, which uh, nevertheless still persists uh, inside. In osteichthyan fish, the neural arches over the notochord, the pleurocentra and intercentra underneath the notochord enlarged, were gradually converted to bone and fused around the notochord. Although modern bony fish possess a bony vertebral column without a notochord running through, this was not the case in the last common ancestors of modern bony fish and modern tetrapods. The earliest amphibians on land still possessed a notochord running through their uh, vertebral column, and even the earliest reptiles possess this trait. And so, the notochord was only very gradually replaced with bony vertebral elements which formed around it and then constricted, constricted it to the point where then it was limited only to the intervertebral discs between the vertebrae, which are composed of the remnants of the notochord. As human vertebrae form in the embryo, uh, the vertebrae still form from various uh, separate cartilaginous elements which form around the notochord.